Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Teja Teaches. Through this series, what I have been taking you through is different types of questions of arithmetic, different types of questions of quantitative ability and DILR that you should be really, really uh, acquainted with when you are planning for your preparation for CAT 2022. And uh, in the first couple of videos of this series, what we have discussed is basic percentages and simple interest and compound interest. What I'm going to take you through is some five, six practice questions in this particular video based on again basic percentages and simple interest itself so it is more or less like a revision to what we have discussed in the first two first two videos in this series so let's get started with must do quantitative ability questions arithmetic three where i'm going to take you through as i told you again questions of simple interest compound interest as well as percentages let's take a look at the first question nita had rupees three lakh and she lent a part of it at 5% simple interest and the remaining at 20% simple interest. Okay. A part of it at 5%, up remaining at 20%. Okay. 5% and 20%. One part at 5%, remaining at 20%. For a period of 5 years. For a period of 5 years. And the total amount of interest that she received after 5 years is 2,40,000. 2,40,000. Now tell me something, if 5% is invested for 5 years, it will become 25%. And if 20% is invested for 5 years, 20% is invested for 5 years, it will become 100%. Okay, so let us say some part X was invested at 5% and some part Y was invested at, uh, one. Uh, some part Y was invested at 20%. What is it saying? The total in interest received is 2,40,000. Now, 2,40,000 as an interest or as a percentage of 3 lakhs is what? 2,40,000 2,40,000 is 80% of 3 lakhs. 80% of 3 lakhs. All right. If the same amounts were lent at the same rates, but at compound interest per annum for 3 years, what would be the interest received by Nita is the question. All right. So first of all, let us try and understand, can we use some non-traditional, unconventional method to this? Yes, we can apply allegation to this. So look at this. If she had invested all the amount at 5% for 5 years, she would have got 25% as interest. If she had invested all the amount at 20% per annum for 5 years, she would have received 100%. But how much did she receive? Did she received 80%. Using the allegation, we can find the ratio of money invested in scheme 1 and scheme 2. So you will get 20 is to 75. 20 is to, sorry, 55. 20 is to 55, which is equal to 4 is to 11. So the total of 3 lakhs, the total of 3 lakhs has to be divided in the ratio 4 is to 11. So this will be 80,000. This part will be 80,000 and this part will be 2,20,000. So we have figured out both the principles. We have figured out both the principles. Now we have to apply compound interest to these principles. Okay. What they are saying is the same amounts were lent same rate, but three years compounded annually. Compound interest per annum. So let us say my principal was 2,20,000. Rate of interest is, uh, rate of interest is 20%. At this, 1 plus R by 100 is going to be 12 by 10. So my amount in this case will be equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole cube, which is equal to 22 double zero double zero into 12 by 10 into 12 by 10 into 12 by 10. So, three zeros can be cancelled and we have a 220 into 12 cube 1728. So, 1728 into 22 is what? 22 eights are 176. 22 twos are, 22 twos are uh, 44. 22 sevens are 154. And 22 ones are 22. So, what we have here is 6, 0, 0. All right, 6. Sorry, 1, 0, 8, 
and the 3. 380160 is the amount that we are going to get out of it. What is the question asking? What would be the interest? If the amount is 380160 over a principal of 220,000, over a principal of 220,000, if the amount is that much, what is the interest I have earned here? I would have earned 160160 rupees. The interest earned in the first scheme. Second scheme is 160160. So the answer has to be greater than 160160, which is there in option two. So let's look at the other part. The second part is what? Second part, the principal is 80,000. Rate of interest is 5%. That means 1 plus R by 100 is equal to 21 by 20 multiplication factors very very important 21 by 20 so p into 1 plus r by 100 whole cube in this case will become 80000 my amount will be 80000 into 21 by 20 whole cube 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 so what i'll have here is 20 cube is 8000 so luckily we'll only get 10 over here 10 into 21 cube 92610 is the amount so what is the interest i'll get over here the interest i'll get over here is whatever is above 80000 that is 12610 so what is the combined total interest that i'll get that nita will get in both the schemes taken together it will be 160160 plus 12610 i think the answer is option 1 172770 is going to be the interest she's earn, going to earn after one year. This is a question from our All India Mock 1 this year. All India Open Mock Cat 1. Let's look at question 2. Kiran's project report on survival and dignity costs 30 pages. Consists of 30 pages, each of 75 lines and 80 characters. 30 pages, 75 lines, 80 characters. So the entire report is 30 into 75 into 80. That's what I can guess. In e, in case of the number of lines is reduced to 64. Okay. In case the number of lines is reduced to 64, number of characters is increased to 90. What is the percentage change in the number of pages? So what is the number of pages here is what is the question, first of all. So 64, this is the total work. 30 into 75 into 80 is now 64 into 90 into X pages. Now 64 in and 80 are 4 is to 5 and 75 and 90 are 5 is to 6. 6 5s are 30. So x must be equal to 125 by 4 which is equal to 31.25. So number of pages has to be 31.25. Now the question you need to ask yourself is can there be 1.25 pages? No, if there is 1.25 pages that means it is 31.25 pages actually means 32 pages. It actually means 32 pages. The question is asking what is the increase in the number of pages? What is the percentage change in the number of pages? Initially, there were 30 pages. Now, there are 32 pages. The increase will be 2 upon 30 into 100. For those of you who know reciprocals, 1 by 15, 1 by 15 corresponds to 6.67% and that is going to be our increase in this case. That is going to be our increase in this case. This is again a question from All India Open Mock Cat 1. Question 3. In the year 2020, the laptop industry in the country had two major manufacturers. So this question looks wordy, looks verbal. Let us see if it has actually that kind of stuff. There are only two manufacturers in 2020. Okay, 2020. If there were 100 laptops sold, there are two manufacturers, Dell and HP, with market shares of 30 and 70. So Dell and HP. Dell has market share of 30, HP has market share of 70. All right. In 2021, the overall market for the new for the product increased by 20%. So that means that means there will be 120 laptops being sold in 2021. New player Asus entered the market and captured 15%. Okay, Asus is there, Dell will be there, and HP will be there. Asus has captured 15% of the market, 15% of 120 now this is, okay. If we know that the market share, the market share of Dell increased to 50%, Dell is now 50%. 
So 15% if Asus has taken it, 50% Dell has taken it, how much is left for HP? HP has only 35% left. What is the question asking? Percentage decrease in market share of HP was how much? Okay, simple. Market share of HP was 70. Now it has become 35%. Percentage decrease in market share of HP is how much? Percent, ma market share, market share of HP was 70%. Market share of HP was 70%. Now it has become 35%. That means there is a 50% decrease. It's almost a no-brainer. Question 4. Rashi's house rent is 50% more than that of Ayushi and 75% more than that of Jyoti. So Ashi, Rashi upon Ayushi. Rashi is 50% more than that of Ayushi. So, Rashi upon Ayushi is 3 by 2, 100 up, 150 upon 100, which will translate to, which will translate to 3 by 2. And Rashi's house rent is 75% more than that of Jyoti. So, Rashi upon Jyoti, Rashi upon Jyoti is equal to 175 upon 100, which is 7 by 4. 175 upon 100, which is 7 by 4. So, if you Look at the simple ratios over here. You will get Ayushi is to Rashi is to Jyoti if I have to find. Ayushi is to Rashi is 2 is to 3. Because Rashi upon Ayushi was 3 is to 2. And Rashi upon Jyoti is anyway 7 is to 4. Rashi upon Jyoti is 7 is to 4. If we have to find a combined ratio, what to do? Multiply these two, you will get the value of Rashi. 3 into 7, 21. Multiply these two, you will get the value of Jyoti. 3 into 4, 12. And multiply these two, you will get the value of Ayushi, 2 into 7, 14. So the combined ratio becomes 14 is to 21 is to 12. What is the question asking? Rashi's house rent is what percent of the total house rent of Ayushi and Jyoti together? Rashi's house rent, Rashi's house rent is what percent? Rashi's house rent is what percent of the total house rent of Ayushi and Jyoti together? Rashi's house rent is 20. Total house rent of these two is 14 plus 12, 26. 21 upon 26 into 100 is what percentage? I'll approximate this roughly to be just above 80% and I'll mark the answer to be 2. For those of you who are not sure, you can just do a simple calculation, 2100 upon 26. It will take 20 seconds extra, but you will get to the correct answer and thus 20 seconds is worth its weight. So 26 eights are... 208, 208 and you have a 20 left. So 80 point something kuch aega. So 80.77 is the only option that satisfies the approximation that we are looking for. Question 5. <clears throat> Four friends A, B, C and D live in a shared accommodation. At the end of the particular month, A paid 40% of the rent. Okay, 100. If 100 rupees was the rent, A will, play for, A will pay 40. How much is remaining? 60 is remaining. Of the remaining rent, B is paying 50%. B is going to pay 50% of the remaining. 50% of 60. Half of 60, 30. So that means another 30 is remaining. Of the remaining, C paid 70%. Now out of this 30 that is remaining, 70% is, is what C will pay. So C will pay how much? 70% of 30. 7 threes are 21. That means what is remaining is 9. D paid the remaining 918 rupees. So this is D. This gentleman is D. D has paid 9 rupees. If out of every 100 rupees, D will pay 9 rupees. Out of every 100 rupees, D will pay 9 rupees. Now what is the question asking? If D paid 918 rupees, what is the average monthly rent? Average monthly rent, not the total monthly rent. Average monthly rent. Okay. So if I ex assume the total monthly rent to be 100x, D would have paid 9x and 9x is given as 918. 9x is given as 918. So if 9x is 918, x comes out to be 102. x comes out to be 102. If the total rent is 100x, average rent will be 100x by 4, which is 25x. Average rent will be 100x by 4, which is 25x. x is 102, find out 25x, 25 into 100. Plus 25 into 2. 2500 plus 50. 
2550 is going to be the average rent paid by all of them so this is another question from primecat 2 these are all questions that we have solved on the basis of our knowledge of simple interest compound interest as well as basic percentage calculations so that's all about this particular video guys if you like the way we teach if you like our content please like share and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any upcoming video every thursday i'll be here sharing another video another video video after video about quantitative ability and data interpretation and simpler ways to solve it thank you